Well, tonight we're learning new information about the health scare for businessman Dan Gilbert. That's right. Action News has learned Gilbert will not be speaking at the Mackinac Policy Conference because of this sudden health issue. Now, we were the only ones to notify you with a push alert as soon as the news broke. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket tells us more about Gilbert's condition and his treatment. As we speak, Detroit businessman Dan Gilbert continues to receive medical care here at William Beaumont Hospital. His family asking for their privacy to be respected as he continues to recover. Founder of Quicken Loans and Detroit billionaire investor Dan Gilbert is 57 years old, a driving force in our city's comeback. The husband and father of five is now receiving the highest level of medical care after experiencing stroke-like symptoms. The Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce CEO confirming Gilbert won't speak on Wednesday at the Mackinac Policy Conference as first planned. His statement reads, First, the most important thing is Dan's health. Dan and his family are in our thoughts, and we're wishing him a speedy recovery. The chamber is grateful that Dan's colleague, Bill Emerson, will be taking his place on stage at the conference. As for what Gilbert is facing... The quicker you get there, the better off you are, meaning that you have the best chance of, of recovery. WXYZ health editor Dr. Partha Nandy says the acronym FAST is considered by medical experts as the four most important things to know and can determine how long a patient is hospitalized. The F stands for your facial drooping and then uh, A is, is your arms. You know, your arms uh, may not be able to move or have weakness. And then S is your speech. You may have slurred speech. In time is that you, when you get these symptoms or you witness these symptoms, you got to call 911 right away. He says strokes happen once every 40 seconds. In fact, his own father once suffered a stroke in front of him. We witnessed the stroke and were able to give medicines we call clot busting drugs within one and a half hours. Gilbert owns and has remodeled roughly 100 buildings downtown while also owning the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball team. As Detroit's biggest employer and taxpayer, he's recently helped push to lower auto insurance rates in Michigan and bring the first PGA Tour event to the Detroit Golf Club next month. In part of a statement to 7 Action News, a spokesperson for Dan Gilbert's company says, quote, He's received medical attention and is currently recovering comfortably. Our collective thoughts and prayers are with Dan for a speedy recovery. So far, we've not been told how long Dan Gilbert will remain here at William Beaumont Hospital. Stay with Action News on air and online for the latest developments as soon as they happen. From Royal Oak, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. And tonight, our best wishes go out to Dan Gilbert and his family as he continues to improve. Make sure to stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for the very latest on his progress.